money doesn't grow on trees, but to supersize our business, we might want to rethink that and reimagine how we can create money growing on trees, bring resources into our business in order to supersize and grow it and meet those stages of growth. And there's lots of different ways to do that. I've been talking about it all month. We actually talked about money last November, the whole month of November, we talked about and shared money idioms and money doesn't grow on trees happen to be one of those on the 16th which i think is fascinating that on november 16th of 21 and on the 16th of this month i chose to share the same exact idiom and we'll talk about it it, it of course it, it appeared in print in 1891 in the statesville landmark newspaper and prior to that it had obviously been used a long time or the newspaper wouldn't have it in their headline brainstorming where they came up with it as and it appeared in the newspaper. By the time something appears in print, it's usually been in use for a very long time, sometimes hundreds, if not thousands of years. So although it didn't appear in print until 1891, it was definitely popular in use prior to that. And what does it mean? I, I would be hard pressed to find someone in my peer group that has not heard or use this on our own children as we were raising our children or heard it growing up. Um, I think our parents of the depression and our grandparents of the depression spread to their children and they spread to us because things become generational beliefs and thoughts and feelings and mindsets about topics like money. Money doesn't grow on trees, of course, means that money and finances are hard to come by much harder than things that grow on trees. Now, of course, there are tree crops like fruits, and things that grow on trees, but that's not what this idiom's about. It's about a warning or a reminder that money is a limited resource. It's hard to come by. So you better be careful with your spending and your expenses and what you choose to spend your money on because it takes work and effort and sometimes hard work and effort, which is our topic for the annual challenge today, hard work uh, to get the money that we need and want for the things that we need and want, especially growing and supersizing our business. So this idiom, brings a couple things to mind to me. Number one, mindset and how important our mindset and then leading into our beliefs are when it comes to creating or being resourceful enough to have all the finances and money and other resources we need to grow and build and supersize our business. And depending on what type of a business you're in, sometimes that takes a whole lot of money up front to build and grow a business. Other times, not so much. Depends on the infrastructure and the costs related with your business and the problems that you solve for people, what services you provide to them, etc. If I'm starting an online business, it's a very low cost of entry versus if I'm starting a manufacturing business and I'm going to manufacture a product. There's a lot of tooling and dyes and different departments and divisions and things that are, and permits that are required in order to start a manufacturing business versus starting and running and growing and supersizing an online business. Two very different things. Process is the same, but how you implement that process and the cost of each of those steps varies greatly to the tunes of you know millions or hundreds of millions of or even billions of dollars. Uh, so our mindset, what we believe about money and whether it grows on trees or not will impact the decisions, the choices, the risks we'll take as we're building and growing our business. Now, money, if we believe it in different industries and in different experiences, it can be magical and appear almost as if it's growing on trees. Our businesses will go through growth spurts that it feels like money's raining from the sky, right? That we're having um, such good fortune. But our mindset has a lot to do with that. Do we have an abundance versus a scarcity mentality? Do we have a competitive versus a cooperative or collaborative mentality? Do we mindset or mentality? Do we have a uh, our perspective? Everything we think and believe filters everything that we're able to see. So do we believe that there's infinite possibilities and opportunities around us all the time? Or do we think that there's the one big shot in life or there's a couple big opportunities and if we don't grasp them when they come, we're going to miss out forever. Those are mindset and belief type things. Possibility, infinite opportunity, infinite possibilities. What are your beliefs and your mindset around that? That will impact your dealing with money, risk, scarcity, insurance, all the different aspects of our business that we need in order to grow and build and supersize. The other thing that comes to mind for me with respect to money doesn't grow on trees is the topic of value and effort work that four letter word. Now, if you're an entrepreneur and you're building a business, work probably doesn't bother you or scare you at all. Actually, you might be one of those people like me who actually lives for work. That's your 
your hobby, your love, your passion is work or your business or whatever it is that you're growing. Um, and the effort that we put into something and the effort we put into developing ourselves and becoming the leader that can lead the supersized business that we're creating, as well as the value that we create and the effort we put into making solutions and products and services for the people that we serve, that will determine whether money is raining from the sky, growing on trees for us and our business or not. So love to know your experience with this particular idiom. I definitely heard this one growing up because there were four girls in my family, four birth daughters, and we had a lot of other girls and a lot of other uh, people around when we were growing up. And of course that meant we wanted a lot of stuff. And uh, <laughs> that, that lot of stuff, four teenage girls, my dad learned, have expensive tastes. And so it was interesting growing up because we would hear both from my dad and my mom, money doesn't grow on trees because my dad would have to work really hard to earn the money for some of the things that we girls wanted. But I remember we always got the things that we wanted that we asked for. Sometimes we would have to help and contribute and work a little bit to earn money and help around at least the yard and the house and things. Uh, but for the most part, um, we, we didn't, you know, sacrifice too many of the things we wanted. All right. Share your experience with this particular idiom. Any money related idioms that you would like to know the meaning or financial, financial well-being this month. Uh, the meaning or the background of and how we can tie them to our business, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have an awesome day.